Did you know that one change to the way paintbrushes are made contributed to one of the most important developments in art history? It's true, and it all has to do with the little metal sleeve between the brush head and the handle, also known as the ferrule. Here's the deal. For centuries, artists relied on feather quills to hold their brush hairs together, securing them with wires or cords. But in the mid-1800s, with the rise of industrialization, brush makers innovated by introducing metal ferrules. These new metal ferrules were crimped and squeezed around the brush hair, providing a solid grip while compressing the wood underneath. As crimping methods improved, brushes became stronger and more durable. This small improvement might not seem groundbreaking, but it was. Until then, artists were limited to using round brushes. With the introduction of metal ferrules, flat brushes could now be mass produced. These new flat styles arrived just in time for the French Impressionists, who embraced them to create the bold and distinctive Tache brush strokes that we now associate with artists like Pissarro, Manet, and Cezanne. And here's a fun fact. Seamless ferrules, made from a single metal tube, outshine the strip metal ferrules commonly used in lower quality craft store brushes. 